here's the best way to study nursing fundamentals. Of course, it's using the silver bullet study system and I'm gonna show you how to adapt it. If you don't already know my silver bullet study system, you can get a free 10 minute video that teaches you the whole thing, all four steps, plus a download that you can use to remind you while you're studying in my profile link. The thing you have to know about nursing fundamentals is that obviously it's usually at the beginning of nursing school. So you're still being tested on your clinical judgment, which is the number one skill you're in nursing school to learn, but they also know that you haven't had a chance to develop it much yet. So your exams are gonna have some content-based questions, but they're still gonna have some of those clinical judgment-based questions. Now, if you study to develop your clinical judgment, you're gonna be able to answer the clinical judgment questions, and you're also gonna be able to answer the content-based questions. If you study only for content, which means like not with the silver bullet study system, then you will still be able to answer the content-based questions, but you're gonna have a lot of trouble with the clinical judgment-based questions. A lot of students can get by studying this way through the first one or two semesters, but then it starts to really build up because you're not developing your clinical judgment and then you start failing more and more exams. But if you study with the silver bullet study system from the beginning, you're gonna do better. And here's how you can approach fundamentals with that. The key thing is because it's early in nursing school, a lot of the things you're studying are actually normal. And often you'll hear me talk about the silver bullet study system when you're studying abnormal things like disease processes, but it can actually be used for normal processes as well and should be. For example, if you are doing a topic of mobility and immobility, First thing is you have to narrow that topic down to something a little more specific. For example, how to walk with a cane. Then step one is you still ask the same question as always. What do I need to know about normal before I can begin to study the topic I'm trying to study? So what do you have to know about normal before you can begin to study how to use a cane? There's gonna be a lot more like information and memorization that you have to do in step one when you're in a nursing fundamentals class. Because since the topic of learning how to work with a cane is a normal topic, you have to study how do you walk with a cane in step one. What are the normal steps? What's the patient education? What kind of things are we gonna look for here? Then when you go to step two, step two is always we're asking what has broken or changed? And this is not saying why do they need a cane? That is not what this question is asking. It's saying what has broken or changed with regards to walking with a cane? And the answer should be nothing at this point, right? Nothing has broken or changed, but we need to practice our clinical judgment, which means we have to do a thought experiment. So now you become a detective and you start thinking and predicting, what could go wrong? How could somebody screw this up? And it should be pretty easy to come up with, you know, just two or three quick ideas based on what you studied in step one. So we're always connecting the dots. Maybe they use the cane in the wrong hand. Maybe they keep loose throw rugs all around their house. Stuff like that. It's basically like the opposite of some of the stuff you learned in step one. Then you move on to step three, crystal ball predictions. What could go wrong? What's going to happen next? And you predict. So if you're not using the cane as directed, you're gonna have problems, right? You might have arm pain. You might be at higher risk of falls. If you have loose throw rugs, you're gonna be more likely to trip. And then step four, nursing care, what are we gonna do about it? We're gonna correct those problems. We just take it right back. Are we using it in the wrong hand? Let's make sure we put it in the right hand and explain why. Are they tripping over floor rugs? Let's remove those from the home and come up with a different type of flooring solution. If it seems a little oversimplified to you, that's good because it means you are understanding the process. This is clinical judgment. And it's important not to skip this thought experiment because you will get questions like this on your exam, even your very first semester. These are not questions that you can just look in the textbook and memorize. They're things you have to think through. So you practice it in your study time and it's going to pay dividends next semester and every semester after because by taking the time to work on your clinical judgment now, it's going to get better and better gradually. So when you get to the topics that other classmates are thinking are so difficult that lead to those nursing school horror stories, you're gonna be kicked back being like, I got this. Make sure you follow for more nursing school study tips. And if you want that free intro to the Silver Bullet study system video and download, make sure you check out my bio link for that.